Hello and welcome to the Code Maven channel. Uh, my name is Gazgabor Sabo, and uh, in this video, in this presentation, in this meeting, we are going to take a look at MD books and how to create, uh, how to use it to create a website on GitHub Pages. So what you can see now on the screen is my missing GitHub Pages. Uh, the URL is subgov.github.io. Just a second, I'll show you what is this subgov. So this is my username in GitHub, subgov. That's for my family name and my surname, um, my first name and my surname. But that doesn't really matter. The point is that if this is my username, subgov, then I have a default website on GitHub pages, which is my username, .github.io. I'll have the link below the, the video uh, later on. But that's the that's the that's the address. Now it doesn't exist because I would like to demo it, how to create it, and how to create it with MD books. So for now, uh, what I need the first thing I need to create a repository uh, in GitHub, a new repository, which needs to be the same name as this uh, website is going to be. So it uh, it must be the same as my username subgob again dot github dot io, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and click on README. So it's going to create the repository with a readme, readme file already. And when I click on it, it creates the repository. And you can see that if you click on the actions, you can see that it's already building the page, the website, based on that readme MD file that it created, the default MD file. Now, once it's been ready, you can see here that it's, it's yellow, it's queued, it's not it's building, it's going to take a while, sometimes a minute, up to a minute, till it builds. While it is doing it, we are going to take a look at MD book. So here is the MD book, the repository of the MD book. You will have the link below the video as well. Uh, actually, you'll have to link to a website and where you have the, all the information. If you scroll down, you will see this user guide and you click on it. And that's where you can have information about MD book and the, the format. And the first thing you need to do probably is to install it. Uh, there are a couple of ways to install it because I, or uh, you can have the pre-compiled binaries if you're not a, a Rust user. But if you're a Rust programmer, if you have Rust on your computer, then you can just type in cargo install MD book and you will have MD, MD book. Now, I already had did that. So the next thing is going to be to create um, an MD book. But for that, I need to clone the repository, right? Because I would like to create uh, the MD book inside that repository. So I'll go back to GitHub. Uh, uh, you can already see by this time that it became uh, green, meaning that uh, the action has finished. So the website was built from that readme file. Uh, if I come here and reload it with Control R, then this is the default website that I got. And there are, I have separate videos explaining how to work with this uh, and so on. If I go to the settings now, actually, in this repository, in the GitHub repository, and the pages, there you can find uh, the various ways to build this website. And uh, right now it says deploy from branch. This means that it takes the Markdown files and uses uh, uh, the Jekyll uh, program to basically build the HTML pages from that. But we would like to use, instead of that, we would like to use the MD book in this case. So uh, we will have to uh, switch to GitHub Actions for that. So let me try to see what happens now. If I switch to GitHub Actions, it offers me uh, creating the Jekyll configuration file or using static HTML. I'm not interested in either of those now. I just wanted to see uh, what's going on here. So I'll set setbacks or deploy from branch because for now, that's what I, I uh, need. What I really need now is to clone this repository. So I go back to the main page of the repository, take on the URL, uh, git clone uh, and this uh, uh, address of the repository. And here we are, subgob.github.io. I have uh, in this repository, and here is this readme file that was uh, created. Now, instead of having this readme file, or I can leave it there, I'm going to create an MD book here. MD book is already installed on my machine. You will have to install it yourself. MD book, MD book, MD book. I really need to know how to type. In it, we'll create the initialized MD book. 
Basically, it creates a couple of files after asking some questions. So it uh, offers me to create the git ignore file, and let's say yes. Uh, I, what would be the title? So my title is going to be Gabor Sabo using MD book, just to have some title, and that's it. Now, what happened now? If I run uh, ls, basically, uh, I can run three. Let's see, uh, I run three. So what uh, files were created? The readme MD uh, was there, was created by the by GitHub. Now we have a book dot uh, file. Uh, which is the general configuration of my book and the SRC uh, directory with the actual content of the book. And there is also a book folder which is going to be used to generate the actual book locally, if that's what I would like to do. So what is in there? Just let's take, take a look at quick look at the files. Here we have this title that I just selected, so you can edit it later on. If uh, you don't like the, the title and you'd like to change it. And there are all kinds of other configurations that can come here. For now, we are fine with this. Uh, in the SRC, there is the summary, which is going to be just the list of the chapters or pages you have. And then inside, and then there is this first chapter, which for now it's fine, it's just the title. This is going to be marked down later on, but for now, that's fine. I could generate the HTML here by type, typing in MD book uh, build. That would generate it. But I can also do something else. And I can type in MD book uh, serve. And I also type in open. And hopefully if it open it in the right browser, it is opening the browser. Yeah, it, it opened it in the browser. It, it runs now a web server. And it listens on localhost 3000. So that's where we have this uh, address open. And this is this is locally on my computer. So now if I make some changes, let me open the terminal again. Uh, I switch to another terminal because this one is running here. Uh, here I also go into subgub.github.io and I edit the chapter. Let's say hello. I just type in, save it, and then I can see it's already even updated here on this page. You can see the word hello. So that's how you can edit your book and see the result uh, quite immediately because it's, uh, gener it's being gener generated all the time locally. But what we really want now is to push out to GitHub and uh, see the results of this. So I have Git status showing me that these are the files that are not on git under uh, git control yet git add all of them again just let me see these were the files that were added you can see actually you can see that by now the book uh, folder was filled because this uh, serve the md uh, md book serve generates the the book here in this folder and that's where it's it's, it's showing so it's fine i don't really need this uh, this is also in git ignore, so it won't be added to the repository. So git status again, git status, because I already forgot what happened. Here are in staged files, git commit, uh, create md book. Create, uh, almost, okay. I created it and I push it out. Now, GitHub still doesn't really know about the fact that I have some files uh, for MD book. What it does now, it picks up the changes, where is my repository, notices my changes, starts running the GitHub actions, and rebuilds the, the, the site based on the MD files, but still using the Jekyll preprocessor processor, the default one that uses in GitHub pages. So that's fine. Uh, but now we would like to go to the settings and we'd like to configure the GitHub Actions to use MD books, MD book. So now I go back to the uh, settings, pages. And this time, if I try to switch to GitHub Actions, it will already notice that I have the configuration for MD book. So it offers me to configure that. Okay, that's a default configuration, fine. So I click on that one, I pick that one, uh, and I and this is what it offers, okay? So it offers me to uh, create some uh, GitHub action configuration file 
uh, to use for this book. And I'm fine with it, except one thing. So it starts with MD book version 0436. And let me just check it, MD book. Capital, I think that also works. Yeah, it's 445 that I have on my computer and it's 436 here. So it's rather old, I guess, what they uh, default here. We can change it later. For now, I'm just going to accept it. Uh, and so now I can commit the changes. Okay, it offers me some explanation. Commit the changes. And now, because this was a new commit, as you can see, the actions start to running on this one. Okay, the one, the one that I pushed out earlier finished here. Now, this is when I created the MD book. So now it's going to start running the, uh, the process, the GitHub action that generates the MD book build. Basically, it will run MD book build, right? And then um, it will generate the website. Now, if because there was already some changes in the repository on GitHub, if I would like to continue edit it while it's running, I it's better that I run git pull. Okay, so I will got I will uh, have the new MD book YAML file copied to my disk, so I can see here GitHub dot workflows MD book. This is the same uh, YAML file, the configuration file. That basically, if we can take a look at it. It will install. So here it closed the repository. Here installs MD book uh, using the cargo command. And uh, then uh, at some point here on this line, you can see MD book build. It builds the book and then uploads the artifact and generates the website. So I quit this one now. Uh, it's already running now. So that's nice. And uh, hopefully in a couple of seconds, we'll see the result. Okay, so I guess I could come back while it's building and go and change here the MD book version to the most recent one. Uh, I'll do it uh, separately, doesn't really matter. That's the whole point. So from, ed from this point, whenever you make some changes and push out uh, something, then you will be able to generate the new version of your website it takes it takes more time apparently i was hoping that he'll be able to show it in a couple of seconds anyway that's it i think uh, the rest should work already hopefully you will have more patient uh, patience uh, after watching the video and you could follow this i will have everything uh, that i did for now under the video, I'm also going to change the name of my repository. So, because I use this uh, in order to demo, several times I make these demos, how to create, create a website on your uh, GitHub pages. So therefore I don't keep around this uh, repository, I rename it. So later on I can link to it. So below the video, you will find the link to everything, including the new name of this uh, repository. By the time I finish the sentences, you can see that it's green. So hopefully this was this is the local host version and this is the website. So now if I reload it, we have the chapter and hello uh, uh, and the hello on my website. So this is now my new website using MD books and hopefully I'm going to be able to follow up with more videos about MD book to see how to do all kinds of inter interesting things with it. So thank you for watching. Please like the video, uh, follow the channel to get notified when new videos are going to come. So see you. Bye-bye.